our president's visit to Guinea Bissau. Is there any interest that Nigeria has? Oh, of course. Nigeria has uh, enormous interest in the stability of the entire West African sub-region, if not the entire African continent. Don't forget, Nigeria is, is the biggest country in terms of everything in terms of all parameters, all indices of a great country that you can mention, Nigeria has it above other African countries, black African countries, if you may say. So it's in the stability of the entire West African sub-region, as I said, because of obvious reasons. Nigeria is the big brother of all, to all the ECOWAS countries in, in West Africa, one, two. Even in terms of economic dependence or interdependence, Nigeria, you can say with all sense of responsibility, is the economic giant of this sub-region. And so all countries along the west coast of Africa look up to Nigeria for leadership and for bringing or shoring up and enhancing the dignity of the black man. Forget not, Nigeria is the biggest concentration of Africans, black Africans, as a nation, anywhere else in the world. One out of, it's reputed to be one out of every five uh, Africans is a Nigerian. So Nigeria contains the largest number of blacks in a territorial environment in the world. So that counts for something significant. Nigeria's role, leadership role in Africa generally and specifically in West Africa, cannot be overemphasized. And that's why Nigeria, take Guinea-Bissau for instance, where we are now, the Nigerian contingent, troops to ensure stability in this country is the largest out of all the ECOWAS countries, uh, stabiliz stabilization uh, troops that are here. And the president has just addressed them. You were all there, we were all there together. The, 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 the commander there told us they are the best equipped, the best motivated, the best mobilized and all that. So you, there is no gain saying the fact that Nigeria's presence, our president's presence here, uh, don't forget the ECOWAS meeting is also holding tomorrow and everybody is looking up to Nigeria taking over the mantle of leadership of the ECOWAS, the ECOWAS community, the organization. And that's another pointer to the fact that every one of them recognizes the fact that Nigeria should assume the leadership role. Even when we went to Paris the other day, uh, about two weeks ago or three, most presidents, so many heads of states, were falling over themselves to meet with the Nigerian president, with President Tinubu. And every one of them that he could accommodate did say emphatically that they were happy that Nigeria is now back in the global affairs. Nigeria is now back on the world stage or the global stage and is really proving its mettle simply because of the progressive policies of, of this current president in the last one month. So this has come to be emphasized here in, in Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is a very small country. It has resources, oil and gas, and it has the largest mangrove forest area in the world, over 10% of the entire land area is mangrove forest. And that signposts a lot of things that over there. So apart from these economic indices and resources, there is also internal instability. There was uh, an attempted coup uh, sometime back, which necessitated Nigeria and West Africa, the ECOWAS community, to send stabilization force here. And that's why Nigeria is taking a leading role in that stabilization effort. And we have seen that. The, the, the Guinea-Bissau president visited uh, President Tinubu in Lagos uh, during the Salah period. Uh, we, were, we were all there. And he was full of encomiums for our president. And wanted, and I mean, he said this to my own hearing, that he would want our president to assume the leadership role in, in, in West Africa. So it is, from all indications, a very worthwhile trip for our president. Thank you very much. Thank I